Last time you came, my collection was one buck, maybe two. I do more trades than I do, um, than I sell. I'll show you what I traded for last, um, the last trade I got. Here we go. No, not that one. He says not that one. <laughs> That's a cool book though, too. Right here. Whoa. Man. And now I have it. Rio, and a six five. Is this one of your top books? No, the top book is a Hulk one. I'll show you the biggest trade I've ever made. There you go. Hulk one in a four point five. Wow. No trade. No, no cash. What did you have to trade for something like this? <laughs> a lot of books. It wasn't just like a couple big books. No, I don't know. I think I traded like eleven books for that. Eleven big like. Two Hulk 181s, a few ASMs 129, a bunch of other big books too. I'll show you something else. This one I bought. I don't. You tell me which one's better. Ooh! <laughs> Look at these books. Not stuff you see often at all. That's Batman number two. I've never held a Batman two before, so guess what? This is staying with me. I got these same day. Wow, this is Batman 7. Trading all these off, are nah, you gonna nah, bring nah. these to the it's show at Heroes Con? No, 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 no. This is gonna stay with me until the day that I need money. <laughs> then I, then I, I start selling. You're setting up a Heroes Con, right? Yeah. So what are some of the books you're bringing over there? I'm gonna bring all that, and then from here, I might bring a few repeats. Or I might bring a few eye candy, right? Oh, that's a nice one. I have that in a 9.4. That, that's a first print, right? Yeah, first print. I might bring some eye candy, but to be honest, if I bring this stuff... Whoa, that's another nice one. First Harley Quinn in a i I'm not gonna sell it. I mean, if somebody gives me the right money, I would, but I'd rather not. Some of this stuff, I just have one because I like it. Like this, I would love to get a 9.8 of. Not sure how much more I'm gonna grow it. I think I'm gonna start, like, um, upgrading. I think you saw that. I don't remember if you did. But now I have ASM 1 through, I want to say 13. Oh, I don't have I don't have 11, but I have every other book. Wow, that's a great, I'm actually trying to do this in my own personal collection. I'm trying to get one and I'm 15. trying to do 6, 5 or better. Some of these have prices because at one point I was selling them. It's a 7 a white pager. This is the best time to buy comics. They're super cheap at this point, in comparison, right? Wow, first Mysterio Five O. You saw this last time. First Craven. That book's been blowing up. And a I just bit. upgraded that one from a Five O, so I need to continue upgrading. Oh wow, Seven O, first Kingpin. Second Kingpin, first cover. Nine four. That's a that's a little hard to get. This was my birthday present for me to me, and it's really really hard in high grade. It's almost impossible to find in high grade. So if you find it, buy it. Whoa, high grade copy right, of the first this Punisher. This is Lenny Magic. This was a 9-2, and I gave it to Lenny, and this is what he did with it. Actually, I'll show you a better one. So this thing was a 9-0 when I gave it to Lenny. And I said, what can you do with it? I never thought in my life that this could come back a 9-8. Freaking Lenny. The 9-8 first Black Hat? I think That's you sick. can tell that I, I, I'm an amazing Spider-Man guy, right? Is Spider-Man your favorite? Oh yeah, by far. I grew up with Spider-Man. But you're an Ant-Man fan too, right? You like Ant-Man like, and Fantastic Four? I like Four? old stuff. So I like the old Ant-Man. That's killer. That's That whole set is awesome. Yeah, this is, yeah, I'm still trying to finish the set. And to me, this the, the complete set is these three books and the 300, which I do have in 9.8, but I don't have a newsstand, so I'm gonna that for that. What's the price difference in the newsstands in direct? It's stupid. Last newsstand sold for like 14K. Wow. And I have, of course, my other set, right? Which this set is, is the direct set. I do have another, a new stand next six, but not 9.8. <laughs> 9.6, but no 9.8. I do collect 9.6 of this. And this completes the 9.8 set. And then, of course, we go into the Batmans. All these are brand new, right? So I had no Batmans last time you came. I want to do a 1 through 10. So right now I have 2, 6, and 8. I got to find the rest. This oh, one. look at that Joker cover. That's sick. So this one, a friend of mine found at a pawn shop. He goes, hey, there's this Batman here, this pawn shop, coming over and buy it. I went, counted all the pages. I'm like, this looks great. I thought it would be like a 3.5. Gave it to Lenny. Boom, 4.5. Man, I love these Golden Age Joker covers. Batman 49. First Vicky Vale. 
But you had had her. You would wouldn't sell these, right? You're holding on nah, to these. No, nah. I will if I can upgrade it. This was a trade, hundred percent trade. Wow. This I purchased. Yeah, this was a, a trade. I traded a whole one eighty one for that. Trade for Scarecrow, right? So see, these I'm gonna try to upgrade, but for now it's one out. This one I, I submitted raw. This one I bought. That one I just needed to complete the set. Right? I was gonna say, that's but a little bit of a weird one for you to hold on to. <laughs> no, but it, 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 if I ever put this in a wall, you gotta put this together. Yeah, you're right. Right? Conan, so when I was growing up in Spain, all I read was Conan and Spider-Man and Batman. Those were the only three comics that I read. Whoa, I need this. I'm looking for a Daredevil one. I need one, two, and five. And you got a 7.5. Do you have like a really low grade copy? I sell those really quickly. When I get a, a they're the one low grade, I sell it really quick. Well, if you find one in like a 3.0 range, keep me this in mind. This one I need to upgrade. It's also a really good comic. And actually, if you ever see this, I could send this back to CGC and get a free reholder because they call this a mechanical error. See how it comes off of the, uh, of the line? Second penguin appearance. That's the second appearance of the Penguin? Yeah. Low grades and mid grades, it's all about presentation. You can have another for all, which I'm sure I have many others, that doesn't look as nice as this does, right? Especially the Golden Age. It's all about presentation, front and back. Don't forget the back cover, right? Like, you don't want any pieces missing or chunks missing. That's kind of what you want to look for. Page quality too, right, is a big one. Page quality, it depends. Cream to off white is fine. Some people don't like it, but I don't mind it. Cream by itself or anything below that, yeah, no, don't. That's because the books continues to deteriorate inside this. People think this is hermetically sealed. It's not. You should be changing them every so often. So, for example, this one here, right? I just bought these. The, the first silver appearance of Clayface. It's in an old encapsulation. This is really, really old. So you see, one of the first ones that they did. So I gotta get this out of here. Is it true that they were a lot rougher back then too on the grading? So they were hard, and that's why you gotta look at it really. You, know, you gotta look at the notes. Like, here's the funny thing. This one is a 7.5, but the cover is detached on the top staple. Yet it got a 7.5. So if I send this in today, I might not get a 7.5 again. In which case, I'll just send it, get a reholder. They remove the note and I get a better, um, a better case, stronger case. And sometimes with higher grades like this one, there's not too many, I won't take the risk. I'm not gonna, I'll reholder, but I won't regrade it. Whoa, there we go. Fantastic four number one. At one point I had like six or seven of these. This is the last one I have. Were you specking on Submariner and the Black Panther? Big time, way before. The, um, and Submariner is such a cool character. They really didn't do it justice. I love how they, he looked in the movie, but they didn't really do it justice for, for what he is in the comics and who he is in the comics. They gotta fix that. Doom, I'm hoping that he shows up. This is always a big book. This is a 3-0. But if you look at it, it's not missing chunks. It has some big defects, but they're not, they just don't affect the eye too much. So it's a 3-0 that should sell fairly quick whenever I need to sell it. If nobody's buying Silver Surfer, that that is the book that you should be specking right now. It's super cheap. I mean, it's, it's too cheap to let, it, to let it go. So I'm buying as many as I can. At one point I had 16 copies of this book. This is the only one I have left. I'm starting this now, the Green Lantern. Old, like Silver Age, Golden Age, high grade DC Comics. Keys, buy them. This is the time for DC. James Gunn is gonna bring DC up in ways that, that they never, they, even before Tim Burton Batman. So I bet you it's gonna be a little better. That has no Marvel chipping whatsoever, right? Tiny little pieces over there, but actually it's not. They're just indentations. No Marvel chipping at all. And hold one, every time I see a hold one, if I can afford it, I'm gonna buy it. I only got two. I'll get more. Only For got two. <laughs> you got two more than everybody else. Sold my collection twice, like the whole thing and started from scratch again. So this is the third try. Buy one book a month, if, you, if that's what you can, just concentrate on the bigger books rather than the smaller books. And don't worry about buying a, 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 another copy. If it's a hot book like a whole 181, to get two copies. Wait until the book explodes. Sell it, trade it. Trade is better. If you're building a collection, trade. This was a trade. I'm trying to get a 9.4. Custom label too. Why yeah, do you like 9.4 so much? You know, way before CGC, Near Me was what everybody was looking for. And Near Me was 9.4. So that was the collectible grade. These 9.6 and 9.8 were like, you know, pie in the sky, nobody knew, whatever, right? 9.4 at the time was like the perfect comic. So I like 9.4s. And if you look at it, most of the time you can't differentiate 
a 9.4 from a, from a 9.6 or a 9.6 from a 9.8. Sometimes you can. So yeah, I do have a few of these. This was a 9.6 graded old, old label. Steranko is one of the best. Oh wow, that's really cool too. First Sabretooth in a 9.8. But this raw from one of the best dealers in the market, Tom Raoult from uh, uh, Pop Culture Comics. I keep getting Hulk 181s because guess what? I trade him for these books. Everybody wants a Hulk 181 and an ASM 300 129s. Keep piling those up and then trade for grails like this. And that's how I got my Thor. With a bunch of 181s and 300s? Wow. All right, so this was my, and is my favorite X-Men. And this is the best story. This is the comic that got me into comics. That one you picked up at Megacon, right? I think we got the video of it. That one picked up Megacon. Well, oh, you got two of them. I got two of them. And, and I will continue buying. This is the Venom of the new generation, right? Everybody loves Deadpool. I didn't like him in the beginning, by the way. He hated freaking Deadpool. But then my kids start getting into comics and they like Deadpool. Guess what? And now I'm a Deadpool fan. And the movies are awesome. Whoa, that's great. I picked this one up at Megacon. That's a sick one. This year? Yeah. Man, AO, first appearance of Dead man. I traded that one. You have this in a video, right? This was a few years ago. I traded my Werewolf by Night. Oh yeah, didn't, it was the nine six, right? Nine six. Both of them are now the both prices of both books are in the gutter. But I traded my Werewolf. But to me, that's a good trade. You're trading a Bronze Age book for a Silver Age Grail in really nice, great white pages. That was a no-brainer. This I bought a Megacon as well. This was a trade. I traded this for an X-Men one. Good book to, to be specking on. Because you know, the IP of Marvel is not the actors who died. It's actually these characters who are gonna bring them back. They're not cheap, but they're the lowest of it they're, they're ever gonna be. So I would pick them up if you have a chance. This is just where Marvel decided, hey, okay, we're gonna go more into the superhero side. And then you have Amazing Fantasy 15 that solidified the whole thing, which I don't have yet. That's the one Marvel book I'm missing. Oh, you don't have AF 15? The only book I'm missing from Marvel that, that I want. I have another copy of it, of course. I say that like you don't have everything else, though. <laughs> you don't have an AF 15? Come on. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Such classic first, first in a minute costume. This is my only copy of X-Men 1, where I've had four or five at a time because I've been trading them for other books. Really nice one too, first appearance of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. I hate these things. One of these days I'll trade it for old blue. Oh, you don't like the custom labels? Nah, you gotta highlight the book. There should be no highlight outside of the book. Wow, that's a nice one too. First Dazzler and a 9.8. Yeah, with that stupid custom label. I like this, I don't like that. Days of Future Past storyline. Yep, new stand. I gotta get, so the last one here is is this, uh, this story is so awesome. The whole collection is probably worth well over a couple hundred thousand, I'd say, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I paid, I would say, the way that I've been collecting, because I'm trading mostly to get into it, maybe I paid half of what it's worth at this point. Comment down below and let me know what you think of Pedro's personal collection here, because he's got some great books. I think for me, one of the top ones is probably this right here. This Batman number two. You just don't see these too often, and that's a really nice copy oh look look what i have here oh wow that's number three all oh, these will be a hero comic. the old comics will give you like the detail of the back cave and stuff that's an early penguin six so it's super high grade for a batman 51. this one is a silver age batman and i know it's super super high grade there's only 11 books in higher grade than this first original batgirl Another one that is, there's only like 11 or 10 books in higher grade than that. I told you I have more of these. A 4 I don't have these in my personal collection because I want a higher grade. So if it's, a, if it's a, under a 6.5, 9.6, I don't even know how many books will be higher than this in, in the census. Wow. And 4, 9, 6, 9, 6. Okay, another one of these. It's a second full punch. This is also non existent in 9 You ever get scared when you send books in for a reholder that'll come back a different grade? Oh, dude. I'll show you. Sometimes it pays off. Most often than not, it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. 
That was a 9-2. Came back at 8-5 after a reholder? Because the inside of the book was foxing. It was in a really, really old holder. So because they found foxing on the inside of the book, they dropped the grade. Wow. And I decided I'm not gonna fight it, whatever. So I lost, this is the book I lost the most money on. How many shows do you do a year? Just one or two? This year I'm doing three. Typically I only do two, but this year I took time off from work to go do uh, uh, Heroes Con. If it goes really well, then we might do Heroes Con every year from now on. Thanks guys for watching. Please follow me at Instagram, comic underscore lore. Just keep collecting what you like. Don't, I would not speculate too much. Just buy what you love. Keep upgrading. Keep talking about it. See you guys.